Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am 10 Man 6610 and I will be your captain to the ship heading into madness. It would be great if you would hit that subscribe button and, th and the thumbs up button for me. That would be awesome. I really would appreciate that. Okay, so madness. I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. You know what, we're going to call this Fishing North Atlantic 101. Because a very dear friend of mine had asked me to do a video and explain all the ways to start up a new game. Because there are a few things. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to show you my means of madness. And how we can make so much money by the use of only four boats. Okay, we're going to start out with the Mickey. And we'll move up to the Ocean Runner. Uh, then we'll get the Double Trouble. And finally, we'll buy the Arctic Pioneer, which costs over $5 million. And that will set us up to buy any other boat we want to get. Okay, this is probably going to be a four-part video, because I like to keep these, these videos less than 30 minutes. Okay, what are we going to learn? Well, what we're going to learn is we're going to learn how to operate the boat, how to harpoon fish, how to drop depth lines, and how to manage a crew. And probably so much more. So, here we go. Alright, we're going to start the new game. And we're going to put in our name right here. Okay, so our name is going to be, which is you, Tin Man. 6610. Alright, <clears throat> so you got your gender. Here's one of the big things, crucial parts of this. If you start in, in Yermuth, alright, um, you start out with no money and you have to go out and find the fish okay so if you're wanting to do a you know if you want to play this game like an actual fishing simulator then yeah go ahead and try that i'm going to go ahead and start out with a tutorial because it's going to put you out there it's going to give you some fish you gotta make some money um the game okay you want fast travel on we want the fish gear helper the port patrol if you are out in here you cannot do more than six knots or you'll get fines okay and and i'll show you here in a little bit if you're trying to go up to Yarmouth, that's a long i mean it's like from there all the way to here you cannot go over six knots um and this right here you can overfish a species of fish you can do it if you have that turned on okay when i first started this game i got so upset because I watched the videos, I'm watching everybody else. Uh, you got easy, you got hard, you got custom, okay? So they got all this set up right here, they hit start, and they're in the Mickey. <clears throat> well, when I did it, I'm in the, the No Yank, which is a lobster boat, December 1st, and you're trying to figure out how to do lobster fishing. And it's, it's, it's very, very difficult. So hit the custom, and it brings up this screen right here. Now you can choose in between the No Yank, or the Mickey, uh, the the day you want to start, you want to start on the 1st, the 15th, 30th, the month. Now, I always start on June, okay? <clears throat> and the madness to this is that the tuna fishing starts June 1st, and it goes to December 31st. Swordfish starts uh, August 1st and goes to, December, or goes to October 31st. So this way here, I got two months I can run strong for just tuna. And then I got, well, two more months I can run tuna and swordfish. Okay, here, um, you know, at 50%, um, you're going to struggle at 50%. I mean, seriously, you are. I mean, if you're wanting to actually play like a real, you know, uh, incorporating fishing company, yeah, keep it at 50%. 100%, you're kind of in between. Now, I'm old, fat, and lazy, so I'm always going to stay at 150. All right, so here we go. We're going to start playing the game. You ready? Okay, here we are. Here's a little Mickey. Now, I will say for the developers, this is completely outstanding for the simple fact that um, you can go in between an Xbox One controller and in a keyboard and it doesn't skip a beat now i'm not going to read any of this if you guys want to read it go right ahead uh you can pause it and read it um but you know i just want to get the game going and, and kind of store some stuff 
Okay, so if you look right now, we're using the keyboard, so W, S, A, and D, all right? Um, and if I hit the joystick, um, so now now I'm, I'm on the Xbox controller. Okay, now it says I need the right trigger, left trigger, uh, left uh, control, right, you know, left and right to, to steer. So if I go forward, and then I go backwards, and I go left and I go right. Okay, now it says to hit Y to first person. Okay, now we're first person. So now I'm going to tap on the mouse. Okay, now it says hit F to stop fishing. Okay, I'm going to hold on F. And again, we are going to, um, you know, so W, S, A, oh, wrong one, A, D. Okay, now we're going to hit E. Um, and this clock right here, I'll explain this here a little bit. So, okay, hit this. I'm going to come out here. And it's wanting us to go up to the platform. All right, so the platform is right here. You see the ladder. See how, notice how uh, the circle gets bright white and then it goes gray. Bright white, gray, bright white. Okay, so I'm going to hit E. Okay, we're on the platform. Or I'm going to call this the poop deck. <laughs> we're on the poop deck. Hit E so we can drive on the poop deck. Um, D is your throttle. Okay, so we're going to throttle up. And we're going to go forward. And then we're going to go backwards. And then we're going to go left. Oop, wrong one. All right. Um, and then you push M to get into the, uh, to the map. So if you push M here, and M again, M, M. And these fish right here, we'll talk about these a little bit. Um, the Xbox controllers are a little hard to to work, but on a joystick they're great. Okay, so what it was telling us is that it wants us to go right down here. Okay, this is where we at. This is an actual boat up there in Canada. It's a ferry. It's ginormous, um, and and every boat in this game is real. I mean, they actually these are real, actually. Um, industrial fishing boats. So how we get from here to there is very simple. You got three arrows and then this actually makes you go. This arrow to the left makes your lines. Okay and if you notice that it's light gray and it's dark gray. If it's dark gray then you you're on it. If it's light gray you're not. Okay so now we're in the middle. You put your cursor on the flag and it eliminates your line. Now, if we was to do this and we hit the right one, that eliminates everything. Okay, see how it works? Okay, and now, and use your mouse uh, roller to go in and out, and uh, the right button on your mouse moves your map around. Okay, so we need to go to here, to here, and then we want to be right about there. And we hit this and we would go there it is now we're hit m again now we are still up here all right see right there we got fish what's uh and the the right button on the mouse will give you your binoculars right there is our our swordfish uh kind of crazy remember we are in tutorial because remember we did not uh swordfish isn't isn't going to be in season for the two months okay so I'm going to use uh, the joystick now. So I'm going to use the uh, right button on the on the D-pad, and I'm going to use the A button to get down. Okay. I don't know if they fixed this glitch or not. So if you come out here, and you're gonna you're gonna swordfish, right? Let's say you get one, and then you're gonna, you're gonna come back in here. You're gonna go back and you're gonna go back into the boat. What it used to do was if you were up here on the controls um, and then you went you went down then when you come back in the boat it'd send you back up here again so what I will do just to make sure I don't have that problem is I will come in here and I'll sit down the chair now I know I am going to when I come back in here I'll be in this chair um, this little indicator right here is something we're going to watch out for. Okay, we got to keep an eye on this because it says we can hold 6,613.9 pounds. 
we can't haul any more than that. Okay, when that's full, that's full. We are done. And the trick to the game is you want to fill the boat up. First thing, utmost, you want to, you want to fill the boat up. So I'm going to go in between uh, the joystick. Uh, so there I'm pulling the right trigger and fish on. And then I'm going to hold down the A button. Okay, you notice how, how the, the string changes colors. And if it gets red like that, the line will break. So what I've realized with this is that when they start fighting, um, you keep hitting the A button as fast as you can, and the drag won't let line out. Okay, does that make sense? Um, and then when, when they stop flopping around, the water starts, uh, starts flopping around them. Here, I'll try to get this one right here. Oh, I missed it. Oh my gosh, that, that was horrible. Damn, Tim, man, you suck. You're horrible at this. I missed them again. All right, well, wait for the next one to come around. Um, the goal here, people, is this. You, you don't want to hit them out there. You, you don't. Because you're going to fight with them, and you're going to struggle with them. And there's a good chance that you're going to break the line, and then you just spent you know, 10, 15 minutes trying to bring that fish in, and you never got them in anyway. Um, and you, you got to... You got to, um, you got you got to aim above them, all right. So you see the water that's splashing up on top of them. Okay, they're struggling. Now they're not. Now they're not fighting anymore. You notice how your line turns back gray, and just bring them in. There it is. Boom. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the mouse. Oh, okay. So it's the right. Uh, it's the right. Or the, I'm sorry, the left button on your on your joystick you hold it down and then you release it and your line goes up. oh my god I got him I got him fish on fish on keep hitting that E button okay now see how you stop you stop flopping around now we're just gonna hold down the E button and bring him in and then when you start see that water starting to come up you just want to keep tapping it you notice your line doesn't ever really get more than yellow you kind of don't want you don't want to get it more than yellow it's a bad idea and I have done oh I did catch him okay I have done that to where I've got him right there and oh my god I miss him and and, I, and I've lost him because because um, they were so close and and uh, they still broke the line just that close and all gets so it's so irritating because you spend so much time trying to bring that fish in Oh, Tim, you're gonna lose this one. All right, come on, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on, come on in. The water's fine. The water's fine. Come on in, come on in. Maybe it's gonna come on in. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. All right, I am going to come down here. We're gonna check this out. All right. So um, hit E to go into the cab. Okay, it's telling me that I've, I've completed the tutorial and I need to go to Yermouth. But here's the deal, people. We still have 4,724 pound, pounds free left in the boat. All right, let's fill the boat up. So I'm going to come, I'm going to go ahead and fill the boat up and I'll bring you back when the boat's full. Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> so we are full, full. Like very, 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 very full. So it wants us to go back to Yermouth. Okay, so it wants us to go all the way back up here. Um, we're not going to. And, and, and let me explain to you why. Um, we have a whole lot of fuel right here. A whole lot of fuel. And we have 6,581 pounds of fish. So, I say that we kind of do this in, in a kind of a smart manner. So I'm going to go here, here, and I'm going to shoot up here and hit this bay real quick. All right. Now, this bay is extremely, it's not extremely, it's not extremely. It is, it is somewhat difficult. It truly is somewhat difficult um, because of well, look at that. The dude ran right at me. I cannot believe that. 
um, is difficult because it's, it's a tight entrance. Okay, very tight. Um, and the bigger ships, it is it is a lot tighter to try to get in there at the bigger ships. Um, and, and you'll see here in a minute if if I can figure this out, if I can get past this dude. But all in all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, um, we're gonna hit Rockport, Denison Port, and then Yarmouth. And I'll show you a little trick that I do is I try to figure out how to, where, where to go to to get the best, uh, the best price. Okay, so I will bring you back when I am there at Rockport. Okay, so we are about ready to come in here. Um, okay, so if you notice, you got this, uh, you got the green light and you got the red light. And you have to be able to go in between those two. And it seems really wide. It seems really, like, really easy with a little boat like this. But when you're going in with like the Hermes or uh, the Arctic Pioneer, those are ginormous boats. They're really big and they don't turn on a dime. So that's where you might struggle a little bit. And I just thought about something that I need to probably turn on my lights because we are fishing and it is almost nighttime. Now here, um, when you get close to the harbor, it's going to tell you that you found the harbor, um, and you can finish off the rest of the way if you wanted to. Um, but I'm, again, I'm old, fat, and lazy, so I'll just do this. Okay, so we found it. Now we've got to come out of here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I don't have any money. Never mind. Okay, we have plenty of fuel. And we do need to get some prayers on this boat. So, um, we'll get up out of here and uh, get over to Dennis Port, uh, Dennis Port, and then we'll get over to Yarmouth, and then we'll decide where we're going to sell at. Okay, so I will bring you back when we get to uh, Dennis Port. Okay, so we found Dennis Port. It's right here. Uh, now we're heading over to Yarmouth. On the way back, we want to stop right there. And we want to stop up here. And what are we going to hit now? My oh, gosh, we're gonna I'm going to sink the boat before I ever get there. These little boats are just a pain in the rear end. I cannot believe this. Dude, you have no lights on. What are you doing? You're going to get ran over. I don't know. Some boaters. I don't get it. Okay, now we have found Yarmouth. And I'll just drive right in here. Kind of like doing a pit stop. Now, we've got some exciting things about ready to happen. We're going to change this boat up completely. Um, you know, the spear fishing is, is okay. If you, if you like doing it, yeah, it's just a lot of fun doing it. Um, I don't mind it, but it's just sometimes trying to find the fish is really the problem. All right, so that gives, oh, and, and I'm sorry, I did have to get a few uh, swordfish or a tuna because the game kind of gave me a flop. Um, it only gave me like three or four swordfish, and that was it. Um, okay, so that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars off of uh, sixteen thousand or six thousand pounds of fish. Okay, we're gonna sell this. Now we have uh, two hundred fifty-one thousand. So we'll go down here to the dock, and we need to. Uh, well, I'll get rid of this stuff here first. Uh, we need to do some repairs. All right, so you get out of here because we just finished the tutorial. Come back into it. Now go down here to rigging. Now we wanted rig for uh, depth lines. That's going to cost us fifteen thousand dollars. 
um, and no we do not want to do tutorial for it okay so we're, we're set up for that um, what we do want to do with the Mickey I'm not gonna keep we're not gonna keep the Mickey very long we're really not but we do need to upgrade the storage we got to upgrade the motor uh, sonar sure why not autopilot this is something you really want to get because and, and we'll we'll use it here a little bit but you can kind of like a plane you can set it for a destination and it will follow it will follow that almost to a T uh, we got the better sonar because the sonar we have is crap the buoys these buoys here uh, are great because they have lights on them and flags so you can actually see them um, and the searchlights you know uh, I remember watching uh, Charlie Chapman you know shout out to him uh, when he was playing the the uh, fishing uh, Barnet Sea and then when he got this game here he was talking about it you know and and these really don't give you a whole lot of front a lot a lot of light in the front they really don't um, so I mean if I was in an upgrade I'd probably go to maybe this one here um, but that's probably all I would do okay so now we are to the point of where we need to uh, get our, our our lines so we're gonna buy eight and now we gotta bait them okay so ladies and gentlemen here, here, here's the deal okay um, this is herring is for tuna only squid is for swordfish only okay I, I cannot stress that enough and, and, I've, and I've talked to a lot of people that have played this game and they they just you know they they say well I don't understand I mean um, you know I, I, I laid out the lines so, well okay but if if you laid out herring for swordfish you're not going to catch anything unless there's a tuna there um, and vice versa if you lay out squid for tuna you're not going to catch anything so that's you know you, you got to know the baits um, and um, a, a best way to know the baits is you want to come in here to your uh, uh, logbook nope sorry the wiki and uh, bait for fish so if you hit shrimp uh, it says it's 55 percent for cod 15 percent for pollock and then 10 percent for for haddock uh, crab I'm sorry shrimp uh, crab uh, is 10% for cod 55% for pollock and then uh, you got your squid which is swordfish and tuna see it's it's that's what it says but it's not it's not true and then your krill if you look at that it's 50% for redfish so if you're wanting to hit redfish you want krill if you want to hit uh, pollock then you want your shrimp or I'm sorry your crab and then if you're wanting um, the cod which cod season starts December 1st and that's the reason why I was saying you really want to get the Arctic Pioneer before December 1st because that there's the money maker it is big time the money maker okay so now we need to get our crew because it's the two-man job bringing in the depth lines and if you guys will stick around to the end of the video I will show you a trick on your crew okay it's a little little special trick now I don't normally go for the for the big guys okay that's 43,000 pounds or 43,000 notes every time you go out that's what you owe him I'm gonna go for mr. Smith here he's only 17,000 pounds I'm sorry pounds he's $17,000 um, and the more he works the more he learns the better off he is and and it's just it's it's good all the way around okay so the, the more you make him do something the better he gets and, and I've actually made a mistake once of firing one of my guys and you know they were worth sixty five thousand dollars it's like wait a minute what how, how was you only 17 a minute ago and now you're sixty five thousand I don't get it okay out here um, in 
so you you have these the, the hawk which is a a light tower or a lighthouse there's another lighthouse here and then out in here you got buoys um you got to remember where the buoys are because if you hit one they will sink your boat that's no joke so what we need to do is we need to uh come down here and and uh you know in this game there are a lot of hidden boats okay and all the boats that are hidden are the ones that were in uh fishing the barnet sea so if you're really out to try to find more boats that's cool if you're not then i wouldn't worry about this so there we just found the the borg and we're going to come down around here stop it right there okay now we have found the lighthouse so if you want to come back quick you can just highlight that and go right to it so I'll show you what I'm talking about so we need to go down here so that's three days and that is a day okay never mind we want to go there so let's go on fast travel here uh, it's gonna take uh, three three hours to get there um, and that's something that we'll talk about later on also of uh, how to use that um, you know for, for your clock the, the clock that I was talking about um, when you're dropping lines because it's, it's very crucial that you drop the right way um, oh, come on you know fishing the Barnet Sea you had to go into a harbor to to use fast or fast time here you don't okay here you can actually do it on the boat which is outstanding okay so now we are going to venture over here now some people will say you should come up here okay and then follow the fish the arrow the direction says the fish are going that way see i disagree i say if you're going to go after these fish then you want to come down here and you want to go you want to drive into the fish is what you want to do um that way um no, no matter what happens you're going to drive right into them and you're, you're, you're going to catch a lot more fish okay now we need to turn it to autopilot so we're going to turn autopilot on and our speed is going to be at max and I don't want that okay M to get out of here okay now we're going to get our crew we're going to move him down here and you'll notice him there'll be like a green light going up here okay you ready so there's a line going up that means that he's baiting he, he's getting this thing all set up to to go and then you'll hit the r but hold the r button or you can use your mouse to hit the same thing um to set your depth line so i will bring you back when we're actually in the fish Okay, so if we look around we got tuna right there swimming around um so an option you could do is to go into your map hit m go in your map and you come over here and you take a tuna and you drag it over and you put him right there okay so that's telling you that you got tuna that are swimming around here if you want to come back and do harpooning so that would be a lot easier way for you to to remember where they were kind of like kind of dropping a little a little marker okay so inside the boat here this right here is your autopilot so you turn it on there oh i'm sorry hit e button and then you can up max it up or slow it down however you want to do it um this is your notepad so it will tell you okay so we caught uh we got two swordfish there uh one tuna two tuna and two tuna and then this is what we sold it for um so you go to financing you go to fish prices 
And then this is going to tell you, so right now, Tuna is going for $30,000, I'm sorry, $30 and $21 for Swordfish at, at Yarmouth. Lockport is $24 and $21. And at Denison, is $17 and $27. So I would say we probably want to go to Yarmouth at $30. Be right back. Okay, so we are on the fish. Now we're gonna be dropping lines. how that green light went up that was saying that he was reloading I hope you're all enjoying this um, I, I really do love this game you know it's what this is one of those games that you can play for uh, I don't know two or three months and then not play it again for six months and then get right back into it again and and it is just it's so enjoyable um, I, I mean hats off to the to the designers on this uh, I remember I was playing the other night and um, I had saw a a sun a sunrise and it was just an outstanding sunrise Abs absolutely outstanding I, I couldn't even imagine you know it, it it couldn't even give it words of just how beautiful it was watching that sun come up over the ocean okay so we're going to drop all eight lines and then I will show you how to use that clock to uh, fast time. Um, and the big kicker to it is this. If you're going to fast time, and let, let's say that you're going to drop 40 lines, okay? You want the lines to soak for at least 19 hours. And you seriously want 19 hours. I know Fishing Barn at Sea, it said 18. This one here, you want 19, 20 is perfect the problem is is that your crew is going to take them forever to pick up 40 lines and by the time you get to that last 20 lines you are going to be over soaked and you're not going to have any fish so that's where you really want to um, be able to manage your time correctly and so my suggestion is to probably drop if you've got 30 lines, drop 15 and then wait about 12 hours and then drop another 15. Um, that way you have enough time that if you really need to um, go into port to sell the fish you have, you can. That's not a problem. But to drop all 40 and try to pick up all 40 or all 30, you, you're going to have an issue with it. Okay, so here we are. We are coming up to our first, our first buoy, our first uh, line, and that line has been sitting for an hour and eight minutes. Okay, so we get out of the chair and walk over to the clock. We can go up to 24 hours. So we're only running, uh, see we're running eight lines. So let's do 18 hours. Okay, that's going to give that, uh, it's 18 hours. Okay, so we'll do it one more hour. Uh, okay, now we're 19 hours and 27 minutes. We should be good. Uh, when you start getting bites, like right here, see, so uh, line seven says you got three fish. Line six has got three fish. Line eight's got three fish. Um, yeah, so that kind of, that's, that's kind of handy to kind of know what you have for for fish are coming on and the other thing I want to show you is uh, with the Xbox controller compared to um, the the mouse and, and the keyboard is so the Xbox you hit A and then you hit A again and you move him to where you want him to be um, and you gotta have well I guess you don't have to have this up <clears throat> if you're gonna drop lines you gotta have it up 
you know, the mouse, you just drag them over. Um, you know, for me, I, I've got the Razer keyboard and I got a really nice mouse, but uh, after a while, that really starts bothering my hands. So that's why I like the joystick. Okay, so here with the, with the Mickey, you and your crew member are the ones doing the fishing. Um, some of the other bigger boats, you can have your whole crew do it, but this is what it's like to catch the deep lines. So we have tuna here. And the goal is, is to hit that center, yep, that, that little center circle, that gives you a perfect. So you have perfect, and you have good, and you have okay. The more perfect you get, the better, I don't know, I guess the better harvest you'll have, um, the better haul. Goods, you'll have okay, okays, you're, you're really not going to, you're going to realize that it's not really that, that uh, you're not going to make a lot of money doing it that way. You know, and ladies and gentlemen, I do have to apologize that I, I work second shift, so um, I got off work uh, about an hour and a half ago, um, and so I, I'm doing my recording now while everybody's in bed, so my wife doesn't think I'm downstairs, you know, talking to myself. Well, she thinks I'm talking to myself anyway, but... Um, so yeah it's just you know there's gonna be sometimes i might make mistakes on what i'm trying to say and i do apologize and uh next pay period i am going to order that new mic so it's going to be i'm hope, hoping that my my recordings will be a lot better uh, a lot more uh, clear to hear what i'm saying uh, but right now i'm just using what i can use and uh you know do the best i can but I think we're gonna we're going to um, get this get these lines in and see what kind of money we have and if we are close enough of buying the uh, the ocean runner we'll go ahead and buy that and then we'll call this a video and the next one what we'll do is we'll upgrade that ocean runner and try to make enough money because we're gonna need 1.1 million dollars to buy the uh, double trouble. And then I'll explain to you uh, the difference between the both boats. I mean, they're both good boats, but one has one has a, a good things. Oh, I missed one. And then you know one doesn't, and then one has good things, the other one doesn't. Um, and then we'll we'll talk about that when we get the boats in. So right now, let's just get these fish in and get going. You know what? Instead of sitting here watching me miss and make a fool of myself, um, I will bring you back when the boat is full. Okay? Bear back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we kind of have an issue. Uh, if you see down there for a max weight, um, we can max weight 13,000 pounds. We still have... Uh, line seven and eight to come in and we're already at 12,282 pounds so we're not going to get all of this line and the next line we're not going to get any of that fish at all because we're going to be at max weight off of these these two lines so you know this was a good um this was really good uh, venture out today um you know, if we can actually get that kind of money, if we fill a boat up with only six lines, or six and a half, I guess you would say, uh, that's actually outstanding. The other thing, and again, like, like I was saying, if you get almost every perfect or a perfect and okay, and you never get just an okay, or I'm sorry, a perfect and a good, okay, yep, we're maxed out. So we are 100 and 1,150 nine pounds over overweight so we we lost that much but again we are at max weight so that is a plus we're gonna make some money now this should be probably around five hundred and fifty thousand dollars i bet is what what this haul is going to bring in So this is our last buoy. Oh, and of course I'm getting perfects all night tonight. 
That's okay. It's all right. You know, and I know it's really late for me to be doing these videos on these games. These games have been out for years. Um, but again, you know, it's still kind of fun uh, to to do them because I mean, some people are just now getting into the games and and uh, you know they're they're struggling like I did. And you know, some of you other people that have played this game before, you you did too. So it's it's kind of fun to uh, to show some people. You know how 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 things work here. Oh, look at that! We are five hundred and ninety-two thousand dollars. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have done it. Okay. So we need to go back over here to. Uh, I want to say, yeah, it's Lockport. And we'll go down here. So the shipping yard is where it shows you what you own and what's available. And right there is the Ocean Runner. And we have enough money to buy it. So we're going to buy this. And we're not going to do the long line. Okay. And we are going to uh, rig it for depth lines and then what we need to do is um, reactivate the Mickey and we're going to sell off all of our lines and uh, you know I think we, we should probably just go in to sell the Mickey I mean we, we're not going to use it so what's the point of having it? It only give us seven thousand dollars, but that'll give us enough to to uh, upgrade the Ocean Runner and uh, be good with this. So now, as I was saying about that uh, that trick, um, here's how you can do it when you have a crew member. Okay, so remember we you hired Mr. Smith. He's only um, you know, seventeen thousand dollars. So you get on here to the the crew training, and you got Mr. Smith, and the depth line, or the deep lines. Okay, if you hit the level up, then you notice every time I hit this button, it goes up. Okay, um, so if I wanted to hit this, spend ten thousand dollars, it's up to ten percent, or or ten times, or the skills at ten. So the better they get, uh, so you can actually buy their skills. So if you wanted someone to repair better or to cook better, or if you're going to run like the um, the Arctic Pioneer, uh, you're going to need a person to freeze, a person to stack, and a person to machine gun. So you can actually get them all leveled up to 100%, um, and you know you you, you have a, you have an excellent crew. Um, so right here is the trick I was talking about. This is how you can get uh, go from a guy that was basically had no skills and give him everything that you possibly need. All right. So hope this helps you out, and I hope you all have a good night and a good day uh, wherever you're at. Be safe, and we'll talk to you later on. See you in the next video.